Hello and welcome to the next installment of Jinx Guides. Today I'm going to be teaching you about Dialafix. Dialafix is a very small program used by many IT uh, professionals to fix computers. It's very lightweight and can be run off a thumb drive. I will teach you how to do both of these things. So the link, of course, is provided in the right, in the description box. Dialafix. The link is provided by Softpedia. Here you'll see Dialafix 0.6.0.2. Gonna click that download and click the external mirror. This is gonna download it in a zip file. If you don't have, uh, actually no, all Windows programs, all Windows operating systems should come with a uh, zip like opener thing. Okay, so here's the file. I'm opening it in WinRAR. So you're going to extract it to the desk desktop. And close that, close that, close that. Here we have it. Dial a fix and the big long numbers. So open it up and you'll see two things. One is a uh, Microsoft Security Configuration Editor Command Tool. I have absolutely no idea how to do this. So we're just going to work on dialafix.exe. Very simple to run. These are all of the like presets that you can put. Normally, whenever I'm trying to do, I just click check all. That sets everything, and then you click go. First is gonna empty all of the temporary folders. Next, you're gonna want to. It's gonna ask you to adjust the date and the time. Today is March 13th, 2009. It is now 10:51. So. Just click OK. I'm going to let it run through everything. While that's going, and as I said before, um, this can be run off of a thumb drive, along with programs like CCleaner and uh, Malwarebytes and Offcrack, all three of those used by IT professionals. So, all you really need to do is go to your My Computer, go to, this is my uh, flash drive. All you gotta do, whoa, glitchy. Up, oh, hang on, there we go. All you gotta do is make a copy of the dial -a fix thing, throw it in there, and there, you can just run it off of the flash drive. You don't even have to install it on the computer. Hmm, okay, almost done. Hang on a minute. Hmm. This error has really always come up for me, and I honestly don't know what to do about it. It's talking about Internet Explorer, which I don't use, so I'm really not too worried about it. And that's it. Um, hmm. Let's see, anything else I should go over? Probably not. I mean, after you do this, what you really want to do is, um, uh, let's see, I'm using ESET. What you really want to do is uh, run a system scan right after it with whatever uh, virus protection you're using. That's just to make sure that, uh, you know, everything is still working fine. And if you're not running virus scans every couple of days, then you really should. I run it uh, once a day. And, uh, well, that's why I'm doing this. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's it. That's, uh, me for Jinx Guides, signing out.